Be a top striker. <laughs> For Manchester United. <laughs> and then what transfer you transfer. You know, that's how Daily Post described me at some point. Now, offer a friend a can also a vulture. Oh, my transfer and it's Miss Sia, it's not Mirko Trafford. Echo Trafford. Rescue bridges. Okay, Kwame. Yeah, Gregor. I'm there last week. Yeah. Based, I'm the name disguised the Kumasi Town Hall. How many? Matters. Me, yeah, some analysis on a certain part of what happened in Kumasi. I'm the Sakawa sword cutting matter. Yeah. Let me highlight it. Me share also hospitals in the Binakuku side hall. But I think the more catchy public focus in the the Sakawa thing, which was more or less a response to the Yemibian President Mahama uh, work our, that event and uh, not surprisingly of course because they are entitled to it you know, the mm -hmm. NDC uh, mm -hmm. issued more or less a rebuttal or a rejoinder of a sort uh, we are not talking personalities the Samiji if he signed it on behalf of the corporate entity known mm -hmm. as the NDC, NDC yeah. uh, whose uh, flag bearer is President Hama Former president, oh, okay, president. Okay, okay. Precision. <laughs> well, <laughs> well, but once a president, see. always a president. I but. understand where Kamna is coming from. Uh, Maka president, <laughs> now Mawaka. But <laughs> well, your, former your, president. your correction is accepted yeah. mm -hmm. in terms of precision and exactitude. Especially when we are looking at the constitutional lines. We have only one president at a time. time. Yeah. That's it. But I think everybody also meant the once a president, always a president. So please uh, forgive me, but the point really is that you deal with the issues. Kwame, yes, Gregor. What response? You know? First, Sami Jemfini response that is on behalf of his party. May start from Kumasi and Sama Batema. And I'm quoting. Also, on the matter of the second phase uh -huh. of the Kumasi Airport expansion project by President Mahama, it is instructive that Mr. Bakun acknowledges that the loan for the project had been approved by Parliament of Ghana at the time President Mahama cut the sword for the commencement of the project in December 2016. <coughs> uh -huh. Indeed, President Mahama performed the short cutting ceremony after securing parliamentary approval of a loan of 65 point something euros, million euros from Banco Santander SE and export credit support from the United Kingdom Export Finance Agency for onward lending in the sum of 7.7 .7 million euros to the Ghana Airports Limited in November 2016. Aside the fact that Parliament had approved the loan facility at the time President Mahama cut the sword for the project, the contractor who had completed the first phase of the project had moved to site and cleared the fence and cleared and fenced the land for the takeover of phase two of the project. The claim by Mr. Bakun that certain conditions precedent in the project agreements had not been fulfilled. Hence, it was needless for President Mahama to have cut the sword for the commencement of the project is totally un untenable in our view. The fact still remains that Parliament had approved the loan facility for the project and the contractor was already on site at the time President Mahama cut the sword for the commencement of the project. Therefore, Mr. Bakos' assertion about unfulfilled conditions does not in any way contradict the statement made by President Mahama at the Kumasi Town Hall meeting that he vowed never to cut sword for any project 
until he saw a contractor on site due to lessons he learned from the delayed start of the Upper West Regional Hospital project. <coughs> this is his uh, FM. Mommy, where you go? Maybe add two more attributions, NDC statements to what Sami Jinfi has said in this release and some market specific exposure of the flaws in what they, they are doing. Here, another story, cityfmonline.com, mm -hmm. date June 11, 2018. <clears throat> June 11, 2018. 2018. Headline, NPP government now plagiarizing NDC projects, Mahama. This was statements be all year at a unity walk were flow. And maybe let me read some portions. I said, I'm quoting, you know the most shocking, they are also cutting sword again for projects that we have cut sword for already. Kumasi Airport phase two, we got the loan, $65 million. We sent it to Parliament. Parliament approved it. On December 6, 2016, I was asked to go cut sword for the project. When I went to the site, the contractor had started working. He had taken control over the site. He had cleared the place and started working. And I broke the ground for the commencement of work. That is President President Mahamud. He broke the ground for work. For commencement of work. I thought he said the work had started. Yeah, he said so. And at the same time, he said that he broke the ground for commencement. But okay. it's not a big deal there. Um, the third one, the minority NDC in Parliament. When 6th June, Akufa Kati sold the second phase sold, you know, the minority reacted this way, Kwame. 6th June? Nana Kati, 6th June 2018. Okay. Now, 7th June 2018, the NDC minority reacted. So, starfmonline.com. Maybe for just some few portions. I said, the minority caucus in Parliament has received with shock and bewilderment news that President Akufuadu will cut short for work on the second phase of the Kumasi International Airport. The purported short cutting by the President will amount to a needless waste of time and space <coughs> and scarce national, uh, national resources in view of the fact that his predecessor, President John Mahama, performed the same ceremony on 5th December 2016. It's here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. President Mahama performed the ceremony after securing parliamentary approval of a loan of 65 point something million euros from Banco Santander SA, an export credit support from United Kingdom Export Finance Agency for onward lending in the sum of 7.7 .7 million euros to the Ghana Airports Limited. Airports Company Limited mm -hmm. in November 2016. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, so this three put together. Maybe I analyze. I mean, where you go? Me can waha and Samir Jinfi captures it in the wrong statement. The certain conditions precedent had not been fulfilled. And see, the first short cutting was unsustainable. That was my argument. Mm -hmm. One argument, the parliamentary approval of the loan had passed through. 65 million euros. Yes. President Mahama, on that basis, was justified in going to cut, cut the sword. sword. In any case, Oko Horne contractor was, was on already site. on site working. Mm -hmm. President Mahama and Ankasasu 2018 appears to be corroborating that kind of statement and I'm a boy mommy ready you know yeah what I mean mm -hmm. yeah the contract now yeah come on semi on yeah some 
backyard gardening transaction contract. On your cobo gutter to gutter contract. It's a contract based on international standards. Make it a copy of the contract here. The conditions precedent. And I read, I said the conditions precedent for coming into full force and effect of the contract are as follows. Signing of the contract agreement. Mm -hmm. A. B. Submission of the performance security by the contractor to the employer as per the provisions of clause 42 of the conditions of contract. C. Parliamentary approval. D. Public procurement appro authority approval. PPA. E. Signature and entry into force of the loan facility agreement. F. Effectiveness of the down draw drawdown on the loan facility. G. Value for money audit. audit. So there were seven conditions precedent to be fulfilled and sir, this contract will come into full force and effect. A. Signing of the contract agreement had been done and that was done 1st December 2016. Submission of a, no, a C, parliamentary approval, that is of the loan facility, had been done 31st October 2016 and 3rd November 2016. Public procurement authority approval had also been done. <coughs> Mark says the document was 30th November 2016. So there were four more. conditions precedent that had not been touched at all when President Mahama went cutting the sword. And listen to those ones. Mm -hmm. Submission of the performance security by the contractor to the employer has paid the provisions of clause 4.2 of the conditions of contract. And provisions of 4.2? Yes. Let's see. Clause 4.2. And the letter, look at the letter B is 14th November 2016. Signed by Fifi Fiavi Kwete, MP, Minister for Transport. Title Development of Kumasi Airport Phase 2, Letter of Acceptance. The emphasis here. This letter was addressed to the managing director, Contractor Construction UK Limited, contractor. Also, you are, however, required under the contract to submit to the Ghana Airports Company Limited the performance security for the relevant st stage once we have been able to fulfill the remaining conditions precedent as per Section 6ABC of the contract agreement. Performance security no, was delivered December 15, 2017. <laughs> it's here. Yeah, somebody. Will. So it means that Tama or a cut or sword, no? You may not know cut or sword. No, let, no, him, no. let, him, let him get us the date again. It's 15th December, December 2016. 2017. Mm. Okay. More than a year, a year and a few days mm. after, after the, the sword cutting. cutting, the first sword cutting. <laughs> I mean, yeah, go. One point two. Some agent fee statement there. The contractor had finished first phase and moved from the site to the new site to develop phase two. Also, it's not true. It's not. No, it's false. Contractor no year first phase no. On your na no year second phase. And that. Well, friend of the first contractor near PW Ghana Limited. Uh -huh. You may know about them. Yeah. I'm told they are in mining, construction, and things. Their contract was from 7th March 2013 and they finished 15th September 2015. That was for the first phase? First phase. 
and they did that alone or a 28 point something million uh, dollars or cities or a Ghana government funded of the budget and they were nowhere to be found at the time uh, President Mahama was cutting that sword. Second phase was for the contractor construction UK, Mwamibo Mwudin CCR. International company. Yes. The boss was in Ghana at that material moment. Apparently, and I'll come to the specifics very soon. <coughs> Apparently, the Ghana Airports company. company said they were the client implementing agency. Yeah. One the Minister of Transport and somebody said, but on the meantime I'm verified that the regional administration they got together and got some workers to clear the place hmm. for the purposes of the presidential sort cutting. And the chairman of this company was in town and he was invited to come and explain the model. In Tibuhu, well, there's a picture which I have here hmm. for him to come and explain the model in the presence of the Santihini's representative, was it Tepahini or so, BB? In Tikwami, mm -hmm. the documents are making Tawahini are shown there. One, the, comp the contractor who they are referring to was not the one who moved from one side to another mm -hmm. side. The new contractor had not begun any work at all it's here me too and now get the details <laughs> commencement of work huh me too or starting only after the all for the four outstanding conditions precedence. conditions precedence had been fulfilled all first of all performance security bond in America was 15 December 2017. 2017. The value for money audit. audit was finished October 2017. Signature and entry into force of the loan facility agreements make it a copy 29th December 2017. Effectiveness of the drawdown on loan facility, 26 April 2018. Hmm. It's because all these were fulfilled in the president Akufuado, Oko could cut his sword on 6 June 2018. For phase two. For phase two. That second sword cutting is the one that makes more sense. Followed all the conditions, President. Because the contract could not be performed unless all this had been fulfilled according to the contract now our signed that's right and according to fifi Kwete's letter make it away so it was when that was done and sakufa duko cut his sword but you see the attacks on him for what they claim to be duplication <laughs> waste of national resources and waste of time <laughs> with president mahama himself leading the attack attack and claiming the honorable coaching my family Claiming that the contractor was sacked for almost 18 months. It cannot be true. It cannot be true. true. See, value for money, make it a letter. No, uh, Price Water was invited to conduct the value for money. Mm -hmm. I mean, they completed it October 2017, meaning work was going on. Yeah. Make a field work. Make a work to complete the conditions precedent, mm -hmm. one of which was value for money. Performance bond you know, was brought December 2017. It's part of the work, not the field work. Check my mm -hmm. The signing of the facilities was 29th December 2017. That's work. You want to kickstart the contract, the execution of the contract, implementation of the project. The contract says these are conditions precedent. You contract number. Contract name, but oh, and this is a very serious. Instead of missing your backyard garden transaction, now kado koye o missing o wanya people dey kono ne. That's not the the letter spirit of this contract. So, so it was when all these conditions were fulfilled 
that President Akufuadu went cutting the sword, showing that the first sword cutting, as I said, two days to elections. Regardless of the fact that these critical conditions had not been fulfilled, it was done. And pictures, no, I made the pictures by when we NDC flag all over the place. I mean, it was purely for election purposes. Painting. That is the one that was waste of national resources. That was the one that was waste of time. And I don't want to use things like deception, Sakawa, and the rest. We are talking of a former president here, and if you knew that we were huge respect for him. And as a person in the office, that's we occupied. We occupied. This FM 104.3, who to meet target?